This is NDTV. And you are watching NDTV Hindu. When it comes to technology, it's many a time a toss between aesthetics and functionality. Ideally, when we get a product which combines the best of both worlds, we make a grab for it. But do we tech consumers have a heart large enough to take an application or a device simply for its utility, no matter how it looks or feels? Make no mistake, Reliance Big TV Bite It is still a tech show. But on occasion, we like to philosophize a bit. Some bling first up, Kirtila's gold and diamond unit in Coimbatore and the technology that brings a shine to its jewellery. And then something more functional, a multi-level car park system that can make driving fun and parking even more. And finally, neither functional nor aesthetic, just pure adrenaline with need for speed shift. Four C's dictate the quality of a diamond, colour, cut, clarity and carrot. But hidden behind this alphabet is a lot of cutting-edge technology. Pratibha Raman went all the way to Coimbatore to visit Kirti Lal's diamond and gold manufacturing unit where she found out firsthand all about the tea behind the sea. Wondering what gadget lover me is doing in a jewellery store? Well, I'm a girl and what's that they say about diamond being a girl's best friend? Well, it's true in my case too. But I'm heading to Keetila's Design and Production Center in Coimbatore because there I'll not only get to feast my eyes on those precious gems, my tech appetite will also get what it desires to learn how these masterpieces are made with the help of technology. The manufacturing unit is equipped with the the latest technology upgraded machinery. Apart from servicing our Kitilal's clientele, we manufacture jewellery for the other jewellers also in our country. Thirty thousand square feet of land in Gaundampalem, Coimbatore with thousand skilled people working with machines and metals to craft dazzling beauties that you can treasure for a lifetime. We have got the different stages of manufacturing. At each stage, we have well-defined parameters are there. What I mean by the parameters is that when I issue certain material to that particular stage of manufacturing, I expect certain amount of output coming onto that with a minimum base stage. Okay, this is being recorded into the system. The moment the wastage is coming more, okay, we re-look into our own processes and to say the wastage is reduced. The manufacturing unit is divided into three areas, design, casting and assembly. This is for both gold and diamond jewellery. The first stage is the design for the piece and Keetilals has 25 in-house designers. The rough sketch is drawn on paper. This sketch is fed into the computer and 3D models of it are created on the software called Rhinoceros. This software enables the designer to draw, edit, rotate and animate various patterns. Let's take the case of diamond jewellery for example. Depending on the design and the budget of the customers, diamonds are sorted and hand-picked for the jewellery. Cut and polished diamonds weighing from 0.03 carat to 1 carat and more are all sorted and selected for each of the orders respectively. An example of their tech-made dazzling masterpiece can be seen at Tirupati. Lord Venkateshwara wears a crown that has 35,554 round brilliant diamonds weighing around 3,000 carats. The 3D 
signs are sent to the casting department that has the computer numerical controlled or the CNC machine. The machine has a microprocessor through which the design is taken as the input and a master silicon mold is created into which wax is blown. Several such wax molds are placed together to form a tree-like structure. This structure is encased in plaster of Paris and placed in the furnace for about 14 hours. Meanwhile, pieces of gold are fed to a machine whose electric rods melt them to form liquid gold. Once the wax melts from the mold in the furnace, it is filled with liquid gold and cooled. These temperatures are prefixed in the machine. If the whole process from scratch was manual, it would be time consuming. With technology, a good part of the work is done before manual intervention takes place for the ready gold mold to be cut, welded and pieced together with the diamonds. Machine maker is very thin. This is thick. If you have a thick one, it will be long life. If you have a thin one, it will be long life. If you have a thin one, it will be a chain. If you have a chain, it will be a chain. If you have a chain, it will be a chain. It will be a chain. But to make sure the jewellery is assembled well, this unit uses power tools for cutting, shaping, drilling, grinding and polishing. These tools are powered by an electric motor and are faster than the normal hand tools. Even the cuts are smooth and well defined. The selected diamonds are carefully placed in the respective sockets and different parts of the jewellery are soldered together to form one exquisite piece just like the original sketch. We come to the grand finale. The jewellery is polished and the sharp edges are removed. The already piece of jewellery goes for a final touch. Apart from the normal glossy look, if you want a rough, sober looking accessory, go for the matte finish. The latest is the rhodium dip finish which replicates the white gold look. You can have the rhodium finish for either parts of the jewellery or for the whole piece. The gold when dipped in rhodium reacts with it due to the electrolyte process. Rhodium has no impact on the diamond. This exquisite piece took around 10 days to move from design on paper to a beautiful pendant. And I can't feel more miserable. If I have to carry these 100 diamonds around my neck, I have to shell 100,000 rupees. Nothing like jewellery that has been to finishing school and will behave well forever. On the other side of Reliance Big TV Bite It, we meet an entrepreneur whose multi-level car park innovation can change a road's landscape.